in come on in come on in <clears throat> hey guys my name is Rosalyn from Rosalyn journey through crafting how you guys doing today <clears throat> sorry that I wanted to do um, a project that I did in the past and it came out so cute that I, that I decided I'm gonna do it again and um, with the same napkins that I use um, on these boxes here Remember I told you guys that you can continue to use these napkins in these boxes, you know. You don't have to buy a pack of napkins and just use it one time for one project. That's why I'm here today to show you guys that you can use your napkins again and again and again. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to decoupage some soap. Call that because what you're doing is you're using napkins and you're using Mod Podge and remember I told you that you can use either plain Mod Podge or you can use um, um, paper Mod Podge or um, they just have so many different Mod Podge what I decided to do today is to show you guys project using the napkins um, but I also want to show you guys, in which I have to go get because I came here knowing that I wanted to show you guys, but didn't bring it with me. So just give me one minute. I'm going to go get the other Mod Podge that we spoke about the other day. Um, just to give you guys an idea that you can buy quite a few different Mod Podge for quite a few projects. So hold on one minute. Okay, guys, I'm back. I had to go look for it. I misplaced it. Okay, this is one of the Mod Podge I was talking about that you use with paper. Um, whether it's newspaper, um, napkins, any thin paper you can use this with. And I believe I used this on um, one of the projects I recently did. Right? So that's one. So I don't know if you heard of this one. This one here is for photos. You can transfer photos to wood. You can transfer photos to wine glasses. You can transfer it to a mirror. Um, I've done this and I'm planning on doing this one again. I'm going to transfer a photo on um, one of my wood projects. So you guys just, just keep an eye out for we'll be doing this one again. This is a very cool project. You will love that. Right? So that's one. And this is the, the Mod Podge. It's, it's a sealer just like the other one. Um, you spray that on your um, anything that you finish. You know, um, once you finish a project like this, you can literally take the spray and spray it on there. And it'll seal it just like you use this one here. It's basically the same thing to my understanding. Yeah, it's a sealer. And this is a sealer. I think this is a this is a water-based sealer. And I don't know. I don't know. I think that's what makes it just a little bit different. I don't know if this is a water-based sealer. But I believe it is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to research that just to make sure about that more. But again, this is a sealer here. You can spray that on certain projects too. And this is another one. I use this one here all the time also. And I know you guys are familiar with this one this is the basic one this is the one that everyone used right here um, could be used for any and everything this is glossy the other one was matte finish I believe yeah this one is matte finish this give you a little smoother look this give you a glossier look any one of them will do, do um, great by me but what I'm going to use for this project I'm going to use this one since I'm using paper Tissue paper, paper, newspaper, whatever. I'm going to use this one. So let's get this project started right now. I'm going to put a little bit. Okay. And since it's kind of thick, what I like to do is I like to add just a drop of water. Just to thin it out a little bit. Just to stretch it, thin it out make it easier for me to work with. Get some water. Okay. 
I'm heavy handed with the water. I did it before and had to mix it all over again. So I just put a couple of drops in it just to thin it out, right? Now you guys, some of you guys seen me do this project before, but I decided I'm going to do it again. The holidays are coming. Again, you could take your Christmas um, napkins, decorate your bathroom with this soap right here. Any kind of soap, any white soap. Now, I guess you can use any any color soap, right? But I'm going to use this this um, this soap here from Dollar Tree. I like this soap here guys. You know I showed you this. I did a video on this soap here also. This soap here is fabulous and it lasts a very very long time. So guys if you don't know about this soap you need to go to Dollar Tree and check it out. It, they have oatmeal, they have coconut, they have um, it's another one that they have charcoal. Fabulous. You want fabulous skin? Try this. And don't think because it's one dollar it's not going to work. This soap is fabulous. But anyway, we're not, we're not here to talk about the soap. We're here because we're going to do a project with the soap. Right? So, I have three bars. And all three of these bars, I want to set up. We're going to use this mirror once I clean it. This mirror here, I'm going to use. This is going to be my base for my soap to sit on. So... We're going to decorate this also, but right now we're going to focus on the soap, right? So, you guys already know, I'm just going to show you, but I have mine's already cut out. Mine's is cut out. The ones that we're going to use, I'm going to show you guys how I go about doing it. Now, you see the white backing on this? I cut it with that on it because it gives me um, a more sturdier cut. So, all I'm going to do is cut around whatever part I want to keep. Guys, I ordered these um, scissors here from Amazon, and I swear to you, I almost cut my finger off with them. When I tell you these things are sharp, they're sharp. I'm scared of them. I believe it was three in the pack. When I tell you they, they cut, huh, they cut. So all I'm doing is cut, cutting around my um, flower. You can get it as close as possible to your leaf or whatever it is that you want to cut out. And you might need a small pair of scissors. These here is pretty good. I have a little bit more control. myself I'm gonna try to um, upload two videos a month I mean a week I don't know how long that's gonna last I gotta really be feeling good for that one but if not at least I'm gonna try to do one a week I think I can handle one a week you know kudos to you ladies who can do four and five a week I, I tell you I cannot that's my leaf. And the first thing I want to do is I want to take the backing off. Guys, if you're ever going to do this, you're going to need a pair of gloves because it makes it so easy to get the second, this second this, this, um, piece off. Because other than that, you'll be trying to find that little piece and it'll take you a very long time. So, what I'm going to do now, should I use this side? So what you do is you figure out where you want your flower or whatever it is that you're putting down. Right? I have some of these flowers here. I cut out from the other. This um, napkin here. Which is a very pretty napkin. So 
So I think I'm going to work with this one first. Again, we want the back end to come off. So what I'm going to do now, you guys know I tell you, always you get yourself some saran wrap. Saran, saran wrap help you smooth out this tissue paper with the marsh brush, right? We discussed that before. Okay, so what we're going to do now, I don't want too much marsh brush. So what I'm going to do now, the scissors up there for us, is right where you want your rose or flowers or whatever it is that you're using, that's where you're going to put your um, your Mod Podge at. I hope you guys can see this. I'm going to, I mean, I'm going to bring it from a different angle for you guys, but. Just want to give you guys an idea of how it's going to look. Guys, whatever color your bathroom is, or your kitchen, you, Dove soap will make your bathroom smell so nice when you when you um, decorate it with these with this um, tissue paper. So whatever soap that you're going to use, just make sure it has a nice little smell to it because that's the first thing you'll smell when you enter your bathroom. So you see how I put it down, right? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give that a couple of minutes right to dry and then we're going to find another piece like I said I cut out some of these in advance so you guys will have to wait too long Some of them are so hard to get the back and off, and some of them come off so easy. That's why I said whatever you do, put on a pair of gloves when you're doing this project, just to make it easier for you to, to grab that, that napkin. So I want this on the back. Or you could bring it from the side, however you want. Right? So let's try that. Guys, this is a cute project to do. Again, with your family. You know, I'm always keen on family because I have three girls. And, um, you know, I try to um, get us all together and do different projects. You know, you'd be shocked. You will really be shocked how interesting a kid is in certain, certain things. You think, oh, they're not going to want to be bothered. They don't want it. They're not going to want to do it. You know, at first they'd be like, ah, oh, man, I don't want to do that. But then after a while, they see see what you're doing. Like right now, it's hard for me to get my 18-year-old to um to like crafting. But but I see her coming around. Ah, oh, can we make this? Can we make that? What you making today? And you, and you, and she helps me with my editing. She does all of that because I'm telling you, I don't know how to do that stuff, guys. I don't. You know. I'm thinking about taking me up a course so I can learn, you know, but I don't, I don't know how to do that. You see that? That's what I want you to see. You see the side? I was on the side. And guys, um, once we finish with this project, this soap is still good. When you, when you want to use this soap, you just soak it in water. You take the, the Mod Podge and the tissue paper off and you do what you need to do with it. You know, don't think once you, uh, Put this Mod Podge on it. It's a dead thing. Because it's not. Alright guys. Don't think that you have to throw it away. Because you do not. Okay. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to find something. To put on the other side. Yeah. So I'm just going to do this one with the green leaves and then I'm going to do um, these two with, with the, um, the four colors just to give it a little pop. Okay.
and you can you can bling them out you could put some bling on it just put a little bit of glue um, if you choose not to use hot glue you don't have to you can use other glue and just put your little bling on there and you'll be good to go I always tell you guys there's 101 ways to uh, jazz up a, a project and people say I would have never thought about putting bling why not Bling goes on anything. It's just like this here. Before you use it, before you wash your body, you, um, I'm sorry, God. Before you use it, you know, just rinse off the bling. Just soak it. As you can see, I made a little mistake here, but that's nothing. We're going to cover that. You know, and then that's the back side of, of my, um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let this rest a little while so it can dry because I'm, I'm, I'm starting to touch it too much right now. So I'm going to let this dry and what I'm going to do is I'm going to move on to the next one, right? Because I need it to dry to the next one. We're not finished. We're going to put a leaf here and a leaf here. We're going to cut out some little leaves. But I just want to move. Ah! Okay. So not, you don't want to sit up there? Let's, let's, let's put them back down. As you can see, that came up. So what I want to do is I want to bring the camera from a different angle. So you guys can see okay guys so we're gonna continue on so the next thing I'm going to do I want to put my leaf down I was told to start from the middle, like here, and just bring it out. Now, Dollar Tree have um, these napkins. They have. Um, the kitchen towel and they have I believe mats like this so guys there's a lot of different ways that you can take the, those hand towels that they have and put them in your bathroom buy your soap along with these um, these table mats you can cut them out and put them in a picture frame and then that way you could decorate your bathroom um, and that goes for whatever tissue paper that you have remember if you see tissue paper and you see you know a matching um, piece next to it, always pick it up. Just cut it out and put it in a picture frame. And there you have, you know, a decoration for your bathroom. This can go in your kitchen also, right? This can go in your kitchen. All you need to do is, um, you know, have somewhere for it, for it to sit. I have done them in my, um, my kitchen. I didn't make a video of it. I wish I would have because it was so cool. But yeah. Now look how cool that looks, guys. It's going to look so much better after after it dry. <clears throat> but yeah, again, pick up the hand towels in Dollar Tree. And match it with this. Make you three, four, five of these and sit them on your counter in a bowl. And hang your towels, your kitchen towels next to it, or your mats. And um, you have a nice decoration. I love it. I love it. So guys, that's just how easy it is to jazz up your place. I always tell you guys, um, to make your place look cute, you don't have to spend a lot of money. You could just be different, 
right? Just be a little bit different. Um, decorate a little bit different than anybody. Just think outside the box, right? We don't want to have everything like everybody else, so um, think outside the box, you know? Hey, I love it. Isn't that cute, guys? I hope you guys can really see that. That's so cute. Just wait till Christmas when you get the Christmas decorations in the bathroom and in the kitchen and you do your soap. I mean, I say, you always talking about the holidays. I love holidays. I don't care. I don't care. When we were, when I first um, had my daughter, we didn't have too much money. So I used to um, make everything. And that's how I got into crafting acorn. So I'm going to cut that out real quick and I'm going to put that right in there. I try to use every bit of my napkin, guys. I do. I'm not even going to lie. Like when I finish with this, I'm not throwing this piece away. I'm going to keep it and make another project. I tell you, one napkin can go a very long way. Okay, guys. So what do you think? Ain't you cute? And we're not finished. I'm going to do the back, but I'm going to let this dry. Like I did that one. So I'm going to sit this one up here. And then I'm going to get this one. I hope it's dry. It's a little bit dry. <clears throat> and there's no... And it, right here I made a mistake. But you won't even see that when you come and to my bathroom you're not even going to notice that you're going to notice these decorations on the soap though i guarantee you that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this backing off of this one here if i can right hey she came up pretty easy this time there's no technique it's just a little bit of hand work you know and to um just make sure you don't pull too hard because this is tissue you know Guys, I always tell you, and I know I tell you the truth, crafters make mistakes. And if they tell you they don't make a mistake, <laughs> that is not true. I'm sorry. I wish I had one vine to put straight down there, but we could, we could make that happen. So let's see what we have to finish off. Now, just like if I leave this just like this here, right now, that'll be fine. Take three or four of those, pop them in there. They smell fabulous. You pop them in your bathroom and you sit them around. That'll be fine. But I just want to make just a couple of more leaves in, in there. And then I'll just focus on the back. But yeah. And I can guarantee you, you go, you you won't see my, my soap in anyone else's house. Guess, guess why not? Because I made it. I did this. There's make things. You have big companies checking us out. And then the next thing you know, you'll see this right here and uh, in the store. You'll be wondering, oh, how they know? Because they're watching you. That's why. And that's how they know. Take your ID in a minute. That's how that happens. So what I want, I, I just want some leaves right now. So I'm going to try to cut them out as close as possible. Guys, this week here, I'm going to try to do my jacket that I told you I bought from Macy's, the jean jacket. I'm going to try to put um, my logo. Well, I'm not going to try. I'm going to do it. I'm going to have made plenty of shirts and t-shirts and jackets before, so I, I know how to do it. I just want to show you guys how easy it is to do it. Um, I'm going to put my logo on the back of my jacket. Um... I was supposed to do that tonight, but I decided not to. But
But anyway, I'm going to do that, and I want you guys to check out that video. There's quite a few things I want to do. Um, Christmas ornaments. I love doing that. So if you guys want to do that, you guys get some Christmas ornaments, some glitter, some hairspray, and you guys can meet me here. Same channel. I'm going to do the M&M's on my Christmas ornaments. Yes! Yes, I am. I love doing those. So if you guys are interested in that, stay tuned for that. Get you, pick you up some Christmas ornaments. I'll show you the, the size you're going to need. And um, let me show you that right now. Because if I don't show you that right now, I'm going to forget. I made this one here for a co-worker last year and she didn't get a chance to get it and um yeah so that's that's the one you're going to need this size here I, I don't have the size in front of me but um this is the large um i think i don't know i forgot the name of it it has a name but um yeah you could go on uh, michael's and and you know look it up christmas ornaments and you'll see these come in two two sizes but this one is the larger one this is the back of this is the the back of of her ornament, and this is the front of her ornament. Miss Lori, your your um your ornament is still here, and I need you to come get it this year. But anyway, guys, she's a very nice young lady. Um, this this is this is what I'm going to be making. Um, this is what I'm going to be making this Christmas again. Um, the letters were cut out with my Cricut machine. Um, I'll show you guys that again. But, um, yeah. And the M&M's I made, I'm going to make them. I just put this name on it. But the M&M's I made, I'm going to make it with glitter instead of the paint. I don't know. I can't do it with paint. You have a lot of people who could do it with paint. I can't. It seems like, I don't know. Mine don't dry. I don't dry properly. Or when I turn it upside down to to um, get the leftover paint out I lose too much paint so I don't do it with paint anymore I'm going to do mine with glitter okay okay so we're going to move from there and I'm going to continue this fell over oh, you have to be really careful. Oh, she's dry she's beautiful too you guys see that isn't she cute I'm going to put a little bit more in here Dab of water. I don't know. This thing is kind of thick here. I think I better start using this more often. I don't know if it's supposed to be thick. Maybe I need to shake it. Okay, so we're going to move from there. Put a little dab of water. What I'm doing now is I'm thinning out the March parts because like you did you see that it was just so thick. Let me pour a little bit more in here. And then I'll pour it back in the bottle just to thin it out. Because I think when it sits a long time, I don't know, maybe it's just me. When it sits a long time, it um thickens. I don't know. If you ladies notice that, tell me yeah, um, you know, send me a comment saying that yeah, that does. But maybe mine was sitting for a while. Because I had that March Podge from last year. Okay, guys. So what I'm going to do is take a little bit of that off up there. And I'm going to continue with this one here. I'm going to put a leaf here. Guys, when you're doing your own, you can design yours any way you want. Get for any project. 
because I know a lot of you guys, you know, always ask, and, you know, do I have projects for kids? This is one of them. Now, as a lot of people ask me why I don't play music in the background, um, playing music in the background is a whole nother headache. You know, if you're playing pupil music, they're going to say you copyright and all this other stuff. So that's why I don't play music. You know, I don't want nobody coming after me talking about I'm using their music and all that stuff. So that's the only reason why I don't use music. I would love to, love to. I would really love to have music in the background. So you're gonna smooth it out. And it's quite fine if you're layering it on top of another one. I think it give it dimension, so that's a good thing, right? Still looks cool. But you just don't want to overcrowd it. So we're going to leave some spots empty. Right? Because I feel like I should cover more. But I'm going to leave, you know, some white spots only. And when I finish with it, I'm going to go over, over the whole bar of soap. That way the whole the whole bar of soap will be shining instead of just in some spots. Well not shining but with a gloss look. So in order for me to have to let this dry a little bit more. And then I'll go over it with a coat. So I think this is it for this one. I want to leave some spots. Okay. Isn't that cute? Okay, so we're going to move on to this, the next one. I wanted to do something like this, but I'm hoping that this is not too huge. But I think it's going to look cool. So let's try that. Now, it, it might come out or it might not. I don't know. I never took a large piece like this, but I think I'm going to try it. So let's remove the back piece. Or did I remove the back piece already? Yeah, I think this one is the one. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in the middle. I'm just going to put a little bit in the middle. Okay, so look at you. That's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to start out. Okay guys, this is my first time doing this large piece like this. But I'm pretty sure you can do the take the paper to I mean take the um the, the napkin and do the whole thing that way. I'm pretty sure you can. If you don't want to cut them out and all of that stuff there. So let's do it like this. Right? And then we're gonna work our way out. See, we're learning together, honey. We can do this. Let me get this tray over here so I can turn this around. Guys, I don't know if I told you, but this is my bedroom that I'm working at. I don't have a, a crafting room like a lot of you ladies. This is my bedroom. I'm not even going to front. Um... I have a huge bed in here and some other things, but I make it work for me. I make it work for me.
So you guys are working out of your bedroom or you have a, 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 a crafting room. I would like to know that. I would really like to know that. As some young ladies call it, they she shit. So what I'm doing is I'm folding it a little bit, right? It might have a little crinkle right there, but I think that's going to be cool, right? Yeah, look at that. It's not bad. Right? I have, I have uh, some pretty um, tissue paper. I would love for you guys to see that, but I would have to find it. I'm going to show you what it looks like. So, excuse me, I'm going to get this picture right here. I hope everything don't fall down. Okay, it's another one of my scissors. I have napkins just like this. Just like this. And I'm going to do something with that. I would love to do, um, decorate my bathroom and put two or three of these hanging around in the bathroom. That's what I'm going to do. Good idea. And I'm going to put, I got the, like I said, I have the tissue paper just like this. That's what I'm going to do. Maybe for um, Halloween. What do you guys think? Tell me what you think. I think this is a cute idea, right? And I bought that tissue paper from Michael's. Um, about a year and about a year ago, and um, it caught my eye because I was like, "Oh my God, I never seen anything like that." And I picked it up, and now this year, Dollar Tree has these. So I'm, that's what I'm going to do for my bathroom. I think I'm gonna put these in my kitchen. Yeah, and I'm gonna make something like I'm gonna do that for my bathroom. Okay, guys, yeah, I go rambling again. So guys, not a bad deal, right? Oh, I like it. First time, not a bad deal, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Not a bad deal. So we learned something together. You can take large pieces. Just be careful. Take your time. And lay it down. Just do a little tucking in. Right? Make it like some type of design. And there you go. See how easy that was? Did you guys see that? So what we're gonna do is gonna add a little bit more to lay that completely down. Guys, I just learned something today. And on the back, I'm going to put one of those. Ah, I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I'm just going to march barge this whole thing so when I come back on it, I mean, come back to it, I won't have to do that. It'll be completely dry. So what I'm, I'm not going to put anything else here, guys. I'm going to let that, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to leave that like that. Because I think the first... And I want you guys to see something. This is so cool. I want you guys to see something. I'm going to let it dry a little bit. Because I want you guys to see the name that's coming through. So once that dry a little bit, we'll come back to it. So let's take this one out. I don't know if you can see this, but the name is coming through. Do you see that? The name is coming through here. I hope you guys can see that because that's so cool. That just give it another dimension look. It is so cool. Look at that. And isn't that pretty? And it's dry. So what we're going to do is when I finish with the back, I'm going to mosh podge the whole thing. Guys, I love it. Something so simple turned out so beautiful. Something so simple it turned out so beautiful. I love it. Guys, I get excited when I do something and I'm like, hey, that was for the first time. Hey, yes, I did it. 
So again, you turn it whichever way you want it. So work our way out. You see how this is laying down so flat, so nice, so beautiful. Okay. See that? Guys, you're gonna have to do it a couple of times. You're gonna make mistakes, right? And that's what we're here for, to make mistakes, and we're gonna move from that, right? But as you can see, with a little bit of practice. Now, this is just another, another idea. You can make a personal gift. Again, get yourself some Dove soap. The reason why I'm using this soap because it's kind of beige and it goes with, you know, the whole theme. You know, this whole theme. But get yourself some white soap and put whatever whatever tissue paper in the back of it, right? And um, give it away as a, a gift, a Christmas gift, a birthday present. Gifts like these people really like. I'm telling you, they really like because it's different. You know, you can't go to the store right now and purchase this. And that's what people like. A lot of people like personal gifts. So again, get yourself a basket. Make quite a few of these. Make a whole lot of them and sit them in there. Right? And wrap them with some stock, with some um, saran wrap. Seal in the smell. And when they open it, ah! That dove will come running out of that, that uh, saran wrap and they will love it. So yeah. You know? So this one here I'm going to leave. I don't want to put too much more on here. Because I'm running with the theme in the front. But we're going to let this dry. And then I'm going to come back and um, give it one more coat. But this one here, I'm going to give a coat. I'm sorry, guys. I got glitter everywhere. Look, glitter here. You can literally <laughs> take some glitter and put it on it if you choose to. Or again, you can take some. Let me see. Do I have to? I never use these, as you can see. Clarence at Michael's going to purchase them. So let's just see something. Why not? Get here together, right? Are you checking me out? That means. We're here to learn together. So many of them. Oh, God, I don't want to drop these. Look at all of these little things here. So, let's just see if we can sprinkle some. So this is just an idea, guys. Once again, let's let's run with it. Why not? Why not run with it? Let's just see. This is a kit I bought, and I love it. I love it. So let me see. Let me just see. We could just put some of those down and see how that one looks. Too much just in case I don't like it. I can take it up. Let's see. Let me get drop some of those on it. Not. Right. I'll be cleaning up for days, guys. But anyway, it's just an idea. another element to my crafting so guys what do you think what do you think huh? I think it don't look bad not at all And I bet you once it dry and I put some more Mod Podge on it, it's definitely gonna change the look of that. Yeah, no. 
not going to touch it now, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to give it a little bit of time. I'm going to wait for it to dry. I think that's not a bad idea. I think that's not a bad idea. This right here is just some, um, some Elm's glue. I think that's the name of it. And a little bit of water. So what I'm going to do is, let me try something else. Oh, all these little pieces everywhere. Oh, God. I hope they don't get in the bed with me, because they will. They're just everywhere. I'm sorry. They're just like glitter. I don't know how people string these up to make jewelry out of it, because I, I tell you, I cannot see them. But anyway, guys, I'm rambling again. But, um, yeah. So we're going to, um, let me see. I'm hoping that when it dry, it don't have that milky look. Do you guys see that? I just want to tack them down. We're gonna see this together. And if you and if if you don't see it in this video, by the time I finish, I will definitely post it on Rosa's journey to crafting and let you guys see how it came out. But guys, check that. I think it's just another element. I think it's another element to crafting. You know, guys, and on a serious note, I had no idea how this was going to turn out. But I'm telling you something, when this glue dries, even if it don't completely dry clear and it has that little white in it, I'm okay with it. Um, when I need to use my soap, I'll run it under hot water, rub this off. And I'm good to go. So I'm not going to waste anything. But my point is, try different things. This one is completely finished. I'm going to let that dry. Then I'm going to go over it with Mod Podge. And if you guys are interested in these little bottles here, um, if I can remember, description under this video. I have a big bottle of, of glue. And I'll take it. I'll take the glue. I'll pour it in here. Um, maybe a little bit more than half and then the rest I use um, water and this right here gives me control over the glue also especially in little spots like this here yeah as you can see and I just put it there and I, and I love it I have another one here that I use um, clear glue you can put E6000 in here you can put whatever you want in here um, and it works for me so again I ordered these bottles from Amazon in this, it's called um, precise tips get dirty in a bag so yeah anything to make a crafter's life easy <laughs> so I usually keep my um, these right here right where I can see them guys it hasn't look they're still there they haven't moved yet I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And see, you can put a little bit over here, a little bit over here. You can do whatever you want, but I'm going to leave it just like that, guys. This is so cool. I love this idea. And I will sit it just like this. Can you guys see it? I, I, I can leave it just like that. I can sit it just like that on my counter, right? We could do that. Guys, I want to thank you so much for being here with me. And I know sometimes I ramble on. That's just me. You know. I love to talk, whether it's to you or it's to my girls. I love to talk. So I'm going to show you guys my kit, and then we're going to move from here. I have tweezers for all my small jobs. All kind of tweezers. Right? I love this kit, guys. <laughs> with my eyes, without this... <laughs> I would have had a lot of wasted projects, put it that way. So these help me get into certain spots. Right? And this here also was ordered from Amazon. So it folds up like that. And then I put it back. You know, it hangs up dead. So I can always have it.
I'm gonna I'm just flash this card up here so if you guys are interested you can email these people about this um this tweezer set I don't know if you guys can see that but at one point I guess you can zoom in the email address is here and you can inquire or you can go on Amazon and look for tweezer set to clean my mirror right that's what I'm gonna do I tell you guys use every bit of your napkin try to use every bit of it especially if you don't use the right part of the backing save it because you will need it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to clean off my mirror and what i'm going to do with this mirror is i'm going to i'm going to use it as a tray And once you finish with this, you can um, soak this in some water, and um, this tissue paper will come right off. So you won't, you know, it's not like you're putting something on here that's going to um, adhere, whereas you can't use it again. So you can use this again. I'm just trying to figure out where I want my tissue paper to go, and I think that's it, however you want to do it. So let's remove the backing. Right, let's, you see? That's how easy this is. <laughs> and I swear to you, this is Dollar Tree napkins, but this is one of the most easiest ones. <laughs> Girl, you don't know. I have bought some expensive one and I was fighting to remove the backing. So I don't know if that's true or, like I said, it's the gloves. Because at that time I didn't use the gloves. So it could be the gloves is a good thing. So make sure you put it around here, guys. Just make sure you put it around there. So when you put it down, it'll lay down perfectly. I told you before, I'm heavy handed with the Mod Podge. But whatever I don't use is going back in the bottle. All right? so this is what we're gonna do. Right down nicely. I'm gonna work my way in the middle to the outside. Look at that, you see how it's like wrinkling up? I love that effect, especially when it comes to leads. Yeah. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna work pretty quickly because we don't want that that side to dry without us, you know, putting our sides down. I told you guys, this is a first for me with this mirror. This is a first for me, so we're learning this trick together, honey. And then, if you don't want the wrinkles, guys, like I said, just take your time, and um, you'll have less wrinkles. But I like the wrinkle effect. I think it really looks like a, a leaf. And this is my second video with this, this, this using this napkin. So, you can tell I like this napkin. All right? So, what we're gonna do now, put some more on the end so we can bring it in. Now this here is, is it's the easy part. We're gonna try to rip that off because we don't need it, right? So. What I do is once I get it on the ends, I just pull it down. Comes up so easy. Now if you want to do the back, you don't have to even peel that off. You just keep going and turn it, turn it over. But I'm not going to use the back. Again, guys, you can use any tissue paper you like. I love doing this. Now, you ladies who say you're not crafters, you don't need to be a crafter to do this. If 
anybody interested in my mat here? I got this from Dollar Tree also. I use it because it's easy to clean up. It's plastic. And it's easy to clean up. Glitter, glue, paint. I just wash it off and keep it moving. So you're going to see that in quite a few videos. <laughs> Anything for easy cleanup. Now you tell me what you think of this. Because I think it's a cool idea. Again, this was a first for me. I wanted to try something different. Um, you could try so many different things. You can do this with a bowl. Any and everything that Dollar Tree sells, you can you can um you can um use. They also have um some Mod Podge that's dishwasher safe that you can purchase. I don't have that at the time. I've been looking for it. It's hard to get. But um yeah. You can you can do this with, with large bowls with charges, like I said, with anything Dollar Tree sell, anything any store sell that has a surface on it, you can do this trick with it. And it's a young lady in my group. Her name is Billy. Miss Billy, this one is for you, darling. It's out as kids. I put a little note in explaining to people um, you know, before you use it, just soak it for a little while, and, um, yeah. Guys, you can use glitter with these. The same thing with glitter. Glitter will come off once you put it up under water. So this, the sky's the limits when you're using, um, when you're doing this trick here. And this is why I like doing this. And guys, I want you to make this project, and I want you to, to come back, and I want you to show me. Even if it's just with pictures. I know some of you guys don't want to do video, but I'm okay with that. But I, I would like to see pictures. Okay, guys, this is the finished product. It's not completely dry, but it's dry enough for me to show you guys. Look at that look back there. Isn't that cool? I love it. I love that look, guys. So, again, you can do this. Without a problem. Now you guys can see the name on it, right? You see that? And you see that the glue has not dried yet, but it will. And I believe it's going to dry clear. It looks like it's going to dry clear. So you're not even going to see that white part here. Guys, enjoy, Jack. I love you guys and have a good day. And we'll see each other soon. Bye-bye.